Greetings, aspiring engineering student. Today we're going to be discussing weeder classes. So you decide to study engineering and congratulations on choosing a challenging but rewarding major. Chances are if you chose engineering, you were a good student in high school and you liked math and science. If your university is anything like mine, they'll require you to take about half a dozen pre-professional courses and pass with a minimum GPA before they'll accept you into the program and let you enroll in third year level classes. These pre-professional courses are often called weeder classes. As their name suggests, they're intended to weed out students who lack the academic discipline to make it through a challenging engineering curriculum. The university doesn't want to waste its time and resources teaching advanced engineering subjects to people who don't have what it takes or are not fully committed to the discipline. It's also possible that the university only has enough facilities to accommodate a certain number of students. If the program is popular, they'll set the GPA requirement higher to ensure they're only getting the cream of the crop. Typically, a weeder class will take place in a massive auditorium with a professor who's more focused on research than teaching. Heck, sometimes it's a grad student doing the teaching. The professor whose name is on the course is out writing a book or an article for a science journal. These professors will typically go through hundreds of students every semester, and their main focus isn't just teaching the material and giving you one-on-one -on -one at personal attention. Their main focus is weeding out the dumb ones who won't make it through engineering or hard sciences. So what are some common weeder classes? Calculus 1 and 2. The first two calculus classes are prerequisites for virtually any engineering program. Calculus 1 is tough if you didn't take it in high school. Calculus 2 is much tougher. I know quite a few people had to retake Calculus 2. I also know a few people who thought it was so hard they dropped out of engineering and switched to something easier. Another course is statics. If you're a civil or mechanical engineer, statics will form the foundation of most of, not all, engineering. That said, if you can't comprehend the principles that go into statics, you won't be successful in engineering. It's that simple. And finally, we have chemistry. A general chemistry class is probably the most notorious of the weeder classes. At my alma mater, it was the most failed slash retaking class on campus. It stops freshmen dead in their tracks. It's much tougher than anything you've done in high school, so be ready. And for many of these classes, you'll notice that after about a month, the lecture hall will start shrinking as people drop the class or stop attending. This phenomenon especially pronounced in classes that don't take attendance or have mandatory quizzes. So what can you do to ensure that you'll make it through these weeder classes? How can you prepare? Here are some tips. Tip number one, do your first year or two at a local community college. A community college is cheaper than a four-year university and many of them offer a pre-engineering associates that covers all those weeder classes that you would be taking elsewhere. Also, unlike a major university, you'll be getting more personalized help from your professors. In fact, I would say unless you have a compelling reason to start at a four-year university, such as scholarships, ROTC, financial aid, etc., going to community college first is probably your best bet. Of course, before you should enroll, you should make sure that the universities you're planning on going to afterwards will accept your transfer credits. You don't want to waste your time or money on classes you'll have to retake. You can also supplement your lectures with instructional YouTube videos. They're always handy. Nowadays, there seems to be an online lecture series for virtually any subject, so take advantage. The professor and teaching assistants are not your only source of knowledge. Also, keep attending the lectures and keep taking notes. Freshmen are prone to getting weeded out of these programs for the same reason they end up getting terrible grades as freshmen. They don't know how to handle their newfound independence. Don't fall into that trap. You can have fun and get good grades. So now I get this last question, that is, what if I give my 100% and I still can't pass the prerequisite courses? There's no easy way to say this, but if you can't pass the weeder classes, you're the weed. Many in, maybe engineering just isn't for you and you need to switch to something less math and science heavy. Engineering degrees are definitely good investments, but they're not the only lucrative majors out there. And that is all I have for today. If you have any additional questions about engineering student strategies or planning out your career, don't hesitate to send me an email. That's all for now. Take care.